I apologize that we cannot be there in person. Uh, my name is Hao Dong, uh, and my talk is about the core competitiveness in partially observable network market. This is joint work with Li Bin. So uh, we are focusing on the linked world. In the linked market, the agents conduct transactions and perceive information from the network. However, the information is usually uh, local. That means the agent cannot know much about other agents' information, including their prices and their uh, neighborhood. So uh, we call this uh, the partially observable network market. So informally, the, in that market, each economic entity has access and only possess a segment of the market information. For example, the typical uh, example includes the uh, online auctions, uh, multi-level marketing, and P2P system, and so on. Sorry. So uh, this work is mainly about the, uh, the auction design for this uh, network market. The scenario is that uh, there is a single seller in the, in the network. Actually, any node can be the seller. We do not differentiate the, the, the nodes. So uh, the seller has a single item to sell. Initially, only the seller's direct neighborhood can know the auction information. But uh, each buyer can uh, invite more buyers into this auction market. Uh, that means that the auction, uh, auction, auction audience uh, eventually expands. And finally, a large market uh, is constituted. So the alloca location in this market is different from the traditional ones because now we need to uh, find uh, some transaction path. And the final winner is uh, identified on this uh, transaction path. On the other, other hand, uh, each buyer on this, uh, uh, along this transaction path has some potential to win some uh, reward. So uh, our target is to design ICIR and the core competitive uh, auction for this scenario. So IC here means uh, the each buyer not only reports his true value, but also uh, expose this full uh, neighbor information to the seller. And the core competitiveness is about the revenue organization for this market. The notion core comes from the coalitional games. Um, let me introduce a little about the coalitional game. It's a pair N and W. The N is the set, uh, the finest set of players, and uh, any subset of the N uh, can constitute a coalition. coalition. And the W is a mapping function. It maps any coalition to a real value. And this value, WS, is uh, uh, characterized how, how valuable this uh, coalition is. And uh, in auction problems, uh, we need to notify that the, the, this set N uh, includes not only the bidder, but also the seller. And the WS here is defined as the maximum social welfare of this auction market. Uh, the, uh, this is uh, just uh, the total utility obtained by this uh, by this uh, subgroup S. Uh, basically, we only consider about the, the grand coalition. That means the whole market. Uh, one thing we need to pay attention is that uh, we are considering a network market. So not only the value uh, matters, the, ne the network structure and the relationship between these buyers also plays a central role. So in uh, auction and in this uh, auction-based uh, coalitional game, uh, all agents' utility UI forms a utility profile. We also call this uh, uh, profile the outcome of the coalitional game. Uh, in some times, it is, it is possible that a subset of players in this market are not satisfied with their, with their utilities. So they want to deviate from the grand coalition and form a smaller group by themselves. This is because that this smaller group will bring a higher total utility for this sub, subset of players. So if under a good uh, utility outcome, um, there is no group of agents want to deviate, we say that this uh, out outcome that means that we say that this utility profile is stable. In coalitional game, the, the core concept is just as a set of all the stable outcomes uh, of the coalitional game. 
uh, as our comparison is just like the the set of Nash equilibria of, of the uh, traditional game. But in auction, uh, we we find that in literature, it is proved that the core is always non-empty. And also the utility in the core should be non-negative. Uh, this means uh, the auction, sorry, uh, this means that the auction should be IR, uh, that uh, each buyer do not want to deviate, from, do not want to leave this uh, auction, leave this auction market. And also for the core outcome, uh, the core has a central property that it should be efficient. That means that the core uh, utility allocation should set, uh, should maximize, maximize the social welfare. So the literature has two lines about the uh, core related auction design. One line is about a uh, core selecting auction. Uh, this line, uh, they, in this line, uh, researchers have proved that uh, the IC is not necessarily satisfied. So most the research in this line give up the truthfulness and the design other uh, design auctions for other properties. But we are focusing on the second line. Uh, this one, this line is called core competitive auction. Uh, this line focuses on the revenue, uh, which is competitive with the core revenue. That means uh, the auction's revenue should at least uh, be the uh, be larger than the uh, be equal larger equal than the minimum core revenue. We know uh, we we want to notify that they, in this line we must uh, satisfy the IC property. So core revenue here uh, is just uh, the baseline for the auction design uh, in, uh, regarding the, the, re the seller's revenue. It's, de uh, it's described as the minimum possible revenue uh, given to the seller. So our motivation are twofold. The first one is that we want to provide a reliable uh, revenue guarantee for this new market point. The second one is that we still want to preserve the nature of incentive compatibility. Our contribution has three uh, aspects. The first one is that we first, uh, uh, for the benchmark core revenue, we first provide uh, an analyze for the lower bound and the upper bound for, for it. And we also provide the algorithm for computing uh, this lower bound and upper bound. The second uh, contribution is that we proved uh, a bad result that uh, in this uh, new market, there is no IC auction that is in the core and vice versa. This means that uh, the IC property and the core property uh, the, and the core are not consistent with each other. So we need to, if we want to uh, optimize the seller's revenue in this new market, we need to give up uh, the, uh, the efficiency alloc allocation uh, requirements. So we characterize a class of auction mechanisms, and these mechanisms are proved to be ICIR and the core competitive. Uh, here, let me introduce the first uh, contribution uh, as an example. The first contribution is that we identify the lower bound and the upper bound for our baseline, the core revenue. Uh, to find the baseline, uh, to find the lower bound, we first need to uh, find the uh, the efficient transaction pass uh, pi star in the original network market. This this pi star is just uh, the uh, can be can be done just by using the shorty pass uh, algorithms. So in this example is this one. So after after removing this uh, this line from the network, the network the market shrinks to the to, to the non black nodes, and in the residual market, uh, the maximum social welfare is just four given by c. So uh, the lower bound for the core revenue is four. So similarly, we can find the upper bound for the core revenue. But now after uh, identifying the efficient transaction pass, we need to, we, we do not uh, delete the whole pass. We only delete one node. This node should satisfy some property such that uh, this, for example, this node is changing the, uh, is changing some uh, age can, for example, removing the HBE, um, removing this BE will change the allocation in this, in this market. This is a residual market and the allocation change to this B. So after the uh, removing of this one, uh, the, the allocation changes, we call this node the critical, critical buyer. So we uh, to identify the upper bound, we remove the 
uh, identical uh, critical buyer. After removing this one, the residual market's uh, maximum social welfare is four. That means the upper bound is four. So in this special case, uh, upper bound equals the lower bound. That means the core revenue, the minimum core revenue in this, uh, uh, in this case, in this network is just four. So uh, based on this uh, uh, result, we, we, we also provide another uh, theoretical result is uh, uh, about that no auction in this market is in IC and always generates core outcomes. Uh, the, uh, the idea is uh, from two aspects. Uh, the, the first one is that, uh, the, the first reason is that the IC and the efficiency uh, are not, uh, uh, the IC and the efficient mechanism can sometimes uh, induce a large deficit for the for the uh, for the seller. So we can just uh, implement the VCG mechanism mechanism with each IC and the efficient in the network. We can find that uh, in very special cases of the network, the VCG have a large deficit. Another aspect is that based on the definition of core, it requires efficient allocation and non-negative utility. So that means the seller should, should not have uh, deficit. So these two points are not consistent. So that means uh, this impossible result holds. So observing this bad result, uh, so how to define and design the mechanism for the market, for this market uh, that still preserves, preserves IC and have a good revenue we need to sacrifice the allocation uh, efficiency. That means we, we cannot focus on the core allocations. Then we define the uh, deferred allocation policy. So deferred allocation policy is totally based on the efficient transaction path of the original market. But now we define a new link function uh, for, the, for each agent along this uh, transaction path. Uh, for each agent, we check whether this uh, whether after removing this one, uh, this uh, this I will become the winner in the in the residual market. So if he can win, we we will allocate the item to this one uh, to this one. And then based on the winner, we identify the partial pass, uh, which is uh, only uh, a subset of the original transaction pass. That means we 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 break the, this original pass. And then we locate some new uh, winner al along this path. Of course, this uh, new winner is not efficient uh, compared to the uh, winner in the original in the original market. So the problem boils down boils down to how to define this uh, delta function. Uh, we characterize three properties that uh, uh, delta should satisfy. Um, although satisfying these three properties uh, could be computationally difficult. So, but we, at least we have two simple forms of, of Delta. One is just uh, uh, choose the auto, all the outgoing edges uh, for I, for this B, for example. Uh, after removing this, this Delta, uh, then the market uh, changes and we find the new winner in this new market. The other, uh, the other method is just to find uh, some special node after this I, after this I, in this I's downstream uh, node set. And uh, we remove one, only one age, single age, and uh, the market can also uh, uh, can also be reduced. And uh, we find uh, the, the residual market and uh, locate the new, uh, locate the item to the new window. So we have proved that uh, given a proper delta, we can, uh, if we can find the, what we, we, if we can find a, a new uh, deferred allocation rule, then we can always uh, find uh, the uh, the payment rule such as uh, the total mechanism is IC, IR, and CC. So this is uh, the about the payment. So generally, uh, briefly uh, speaking, our paper can be summarized into a very simple sentence. We provide the, a new uh, auction mechanism set for the palm market. And this is called the deferred allocation auction. It is not efficient, but it is incentive compatible and it has good revenue in the sense that the revenue is core competitive. Okay, that's my talk. Thank you very much.